Imagine losing your vision slowly without even noticing until it's too late. That's the silent threat of open angle glaucoma, a condition that can take away your sight if left untreated. But the good news, with the right treatment, you can keep glaucoma in check and protect your vision for years to come. My name is Dr. John Negaretta, and I'm a board certified ophthalmologist. In today's video, I'll be breaking down everything you need to know about the most effective treatments from powerful eye drops to cutting edge surgeries. Let's get started and safeguard your sight. Open angle glaucoma is the most common type of glaucoma. It's a chronic condition where the drainage canals of the eye gradually become less efficient, causing increased eye pressure, also known as intraocular pressure. Over time, this pressure can damage the optic nerve, leading to vision loss if left untreated. Eye drops are usually the first step in treating open angle glaucoma. These drops aim to either reduce the production of fluid in the eye or improve the outflow, lowering the eye pressure. Let's break down the main types of drops. Prostaglandin analogs. Examples, latanoprost, trabeprost. Prostaglandin analogs are the most commonly prescribed eye drops for glaucoma. They work by increasing the outflow of fluid from the eye. They are very effective at lowering eye pressure with just one drop a day. However, they can cause side effects such as darkening of the iris, eyelid skin changes, and longer eyelashes. Rarely, they can lead to inflammation or even worsen certain eye conditions. Beta blockers, example, timolol, betaxolol. Beta blockers work by reducing the production of fluid inside the eye. They are a reliable and often affordable option commonly used in combination with other drops. Side effects may include fatigue, dizziness, and a slower heart rate. These drops are not suitable for those people with asthma, COPD, or certain heart conditions due to potential breathing and heart issues. Alpha agonist, example, bromonidine. Alpha agonists both reduce fluid production and improve fluid outflow. They also offer some protection to the optic nerve. Benefits include dual action on both fluid production and outflow. However, side effects may include dry mouth, fatigue, and possible allergic reactions. These drops can also cause drowsiness, especially in older adults, and should be used in caution if you're on certain medications. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Examples, dorzolamide, brinzolamide. These drops reduce fluid production by targeting specific enzymes inside the eye. They are useful as an adjunct therapy when other drops aren't enough. Common side effects include bitter taste, stinging upon application, and rarely kidney issues. These are not recommended for people with kidney problems or sulfa allergies. Rho kinase inhibitors, example, natarsidil. Rho kinase inhibitors are newer on the market and work by relaxing the drainage channels to increase fluid outflow. They are very effective when other drops don't achieve target pressure. However, side effects can include eye redness, irritation, and corneal deposits. As a newer option, the long-term effects are still being studied. So sometimes, despite using eye drops, pressure control remains inadequate. In such cases, surgery might be recommended. I'm going to explore some common surgical choices. Laser trabeculoplasty. This procedure uses a laser to improve the drainage system in the eye, reducing pressure. It's minimally invasive and often done in the doctor's office with a quick recovery. However, the results may be temporary and the procedure may need repeating. There's also a slight risk of increased eye pressure immediately after the procedure. Trabeculotomy. In this procedure, a tiny flap is created in the white part of the eye to allow fluid to drain. It is one of the most effective surgical options for significantly reducing eye pressure. However, there is a risk of infection, bleeding, and scarring over time, which can reduce the effectiveness of the surgery. Glaucoma drainage devices, examples, tubes, and shunts. These devices are implanted to provide an alternative drainage pathway. They are effective for complex cases where other treatments have failed. However, device-related complications like tube blockage, infection, or erosion over time can occur. Minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, MIGS. MIGS procedures involve placing tiny devices to improve drainage. They're less invasive with quicker recovery times. However, they may be less effective than traditional surgery, especially in advanced forms of glaucoma. Choosing the right treatment depends on your unique case, your eye pressure levels, and how well you tolerate medications. Your ophthalmologist will guide you through the options, balancing effectiveness, 
side effects, and risk. The key to remember here is managing open angle glaucoma is a lifelong journey, but with the right treatments, vision loss can be slowed down or even prevented. If you found this information helpful, consider sharing it with others. Please like and subscribe and always keep your eye health in focus. Until next time.